guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a full coverage foundation Friday. I am excited for today. Um, I did a poll on Instagram to see if you guys still wanted this video because I ran out of setting spray um, and it was 100% yes, so you guys are getting it. <laughs> this is going to be a later upload and I apologize for that in, um, in advance. I wasn't going to upload today. So yeah, I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today's video is going to be a drugstore foundation. But yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Join our little family. Help us grow. We are growing so fast and I am so incredibly thankful. I love you guys so much. But um, if you want to also follow me on any of my other social medias, they will be linked down in the description below. So if you want to see what foundation I'm using today and how it performs, then just keep watching. All right, so for today's foundation, I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite drugstore foundation, and that's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and you're probably wondering why I'm gonna use this again if I already have a video using this foundation. Um, the reason I want to do another video on it is because I've never showed you guys how exactly it wears, like for how long or like how it wears throughout the day. I just kind of slapped it on my face and told you, oh wow, it's beautiful blah, blah, blah. Um, but no, I want to show you how this wears for a long period of time because I recommend this foundation to a lot of people. So I'm going to start off by using the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Caviar Essence as my primer. I love this stuff. Um, if you've watched all my foundation videos, this is the primer that I use in every single one of my foundation videos. It's not a primer. It's actually a moisturizer, but it has glycerin in it. So it helps your makeup adhere a lot better. So that's why I really, really like it. And also when you're applying it, it literally feels like water. And then the more you, I just rubbed my brows, guys. How did I just do that? Oh, I just rubbed my brows. <gasps> oh, how did I do that? I was not paying attention. Man, my brows looked so good today. <laughs> All right. BRB, I need to fix my brows. All right, so my brows are back on. They looked better before, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, anyways, so <clears throat> the reason I like using this as a primer also is because it is a moisturizer, so it, it does really hydrate your skin, and I love that, especially because of the foundation we're about to go in with is a matte foundation, so I love having a moisturizer as a primer just so my skin is really nice and hydrated. I'm also going to go in with a pore filling primer right here. I'm going to use the step one smoothing primer from Makeup Forever. I'm just going to fill in my pores around right here where they stand out a lot. All right, now we're going to go in with the foundation. So like always, we're going to go in with one side with a sponge and one side with a brush. This is going to be our sponge side. This is going to be our brush side. I'm just going to, I have it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to kind of put it on my face like so. We're going to start off with that much and then we'll build it up if we have to. You see how full coverage this is already? Like, this is why I love this foundation. Such a good foundation. The sponge isn't performing bad at all. The reason I just know that I like the brush more is because the sponge does soak up some products so you don't get as well of coverage as you do with a brush but the sponge is doing a pretty dang good job right now that is one layer on there are some spots I didn't go on my neck yet so if you're wondering what my necklace looks like I haven't gone on my neck yet but there are a few spots peeking through so I'm going to build it up in those areas so like right here right here kind of right here on my sideburn area and then obviously I need to cover up my neck but I did cover my forehead pretty well and my chin area so that's a good thing. All 
All right, so that is two layers on to cover everything pretty well. I do kind of see a, little, a spot right here peeking through and kind of right here in my contour area. All right, next we're gonna go in with a brush and of course I'm using my Morphe M439. All right, so that is one layer on this side. And there are still just one, two, three little spots peeking through. But I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this side definitely covered up a lot more than this side did. Like, I don't think I need to build up this side as much as I needed to build up this side. But, um, yeah, so... And also, this side still has a few spots peeking through with two layers on it, so we'll see if this side does the same or if this will cover. All right, so that is two layers on and that covered completely as opposed to the side there's still a few spots peeking through the side's completely covered i will zoom you guys in so you can have a really nice up close look at both sides really quickly okay so here we are zoomed in here is the sponge side it is sitting on the skin nicely I know I need to like do some facial hair removal. It is kind of clinging to the spot right here with the sponge. Okay, so that's the sponge side. Okay, and here is the brush side. Okay, so both sides are sitting on the skin really nicely. Um, again, this side got covered a lot better than this side did, but both look pretty good. If you don't need as much coverage as I do, then you probably would prefer the sponge just because it adds a little bit more hydration back into the foundation. But if you're like me and you do need more coverage, then I would say go for a brush. Also, if your skin is oily, um, I would say go for a brush, and if your skin is more dry or normal, then I would say go for the sponge. And if your skin is dry, make sure, it's really important that you make sure that your skin is nice and hydrated for this foundation because this foundation is matte. Okay, so this foundation comes in 22 different shades, so that's a pretty decent shade range, especially for a drugstore foundation, and it retails for $12.99. I know, um... Some places are cheaper than other places, but I would say it retails between like $11 and $13. I know where I buy it, it costs $13, so um, I guess it just depends on where you get it from. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I will be back to give you one more look at everything, and then I will update you throughout the day. All right, so I am back with my makeup completely done. Nothing crazy, just a natural day, um, because I'm not doing anything or going anywhere or anything like that I'm gonna clean my house so um, this is what we're going for today 
so everything applied really really nicely as normal as I you know expected also another thing I love about this foundation is that you do not have to set it with a powder it dries down to a powder consistency or like a, a matte consistency so there's no tackiness whatsoever so the only place that I have powder is underneath my eyes and that is it so I'm gonna give you guys a close up of everything so please keep in mind that I don't have a setting spray so my powders may look like they are sitting on top of my skin but I don't know we will see we will see all right so we're gonna start off with the sponge side so here's the sponge side of my face Everything actually looks really nice and smooth. Huh. Okay, so even without a setting spray, everything looks really good. Um, here is the brush side. Alright, so there you guys go. There you guys have it. The close-up looked really good in my opinion. Um, everything is sitting nicely on my skin. Everything looks really good even without a setting spray, which is... But yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. So I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so I almost forgot to tell you guys what time it is. Yeah, it's currently 3.21 right now. So we'll see how things go in a little bit. All right guys, so it has been three hours. So it's currently 6.28 in the evening. Um, my makeup still looks pretty good, still on. And I actually, like I still feel pretty matte, but I feel like I'm actually glowing a little bit more, which I actually like. So the longer I'm wearing it, the better it's getting for me in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see everything. All right, so still going really strong. It still looks really good. Um, yeah, pretty pretty good so far. I'll update you at the end of the night to let you guys see how this goes. I probably won't wear it for too much longer, maybe like two or three hours. That way this video isn't going up super duper late, but um, I'll update you with the final results soon. Alright guys, so we have made it to our final update. It's currently 9.44. No complaints still. My makeup still is on, I guess. I really haven't looked in any mirrors today. Alright, but I'm going to give you guys one final close-up so you can see how everything is sitting on my skin still. Here is the sponge side. And then here's the brush side. So you can kind of see my oils starting to poke through like right here and right here. Which I'm not mad at because right here on my nose. Because this foundation is so matte I like it when my oils start to peek through. But yeah, it still looks super duper good on my skin. Okay, so those are the close-ups. Um, I've had this makeup on since 3.20 and it's 9.40, so, or it's 9.50, um, about to be 9.50. Um, so I've had this on for six and a half hours. 
still, in my opinion, looks so good. I do have a few oils peeking through. I haven't blotted or applied powder or anything like that. I might, I've just left my makeup alone as is. And it honestly looks really, really good in my opinion. But yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. I really, really like this foundation. This is one of my top, top, top Holy Grail favorites. I love this foundation. It lasts forever. Honestly, I could wear this for so much longer and it would last even longer I, like I promise um I've slept in this foundation like I've fallen asleep in this foundation and it did it did not move okay so this this foundation is great I love it it's very full coverage affordable looks really really good on your skin you don't have to set it with a powder it looks even better if you set it with a setting spray I could not say enough good things about this foundation. I love this foundation. It'll always be one of my holy grails. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. And this will actually be uploaded shortly. Shortly. So you will see it in just a minute. But, um, yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.